know, we count our blessings. At least there wasn't an actual fire, but we did have a very small hot water leak, which in Lincoln, I can fix. But it soaked my maintenance room and all my toys. So paint's bad, drywall mud's bad, and thank God we didn't get shocked. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So although this is a really easy fix, it does pose one really interesting question for us. So our intention this spring was to take down the glass around the hotel to make it look like the annex building. But this property has been used as a hotel for so long, it's not exactly weather tight. If these hallways got that cold, because again, I don't have p -tacks going on the inside, wasting energy. And we upgraded everything to energy efficient water heaters, everything was upgraded to energy efficient everything. Well, it doesn't produce the same heat it used to produce. So here's a frustrating thing. Why would somebody put a shark bite out here? I mean, negative 40 is not gonna have much of a chance either way, but still, it's a shark bite. Now we gotta break all this to get to the secret door. Oh, that's not too bad. I can shut that off. Oh, it's gonna be really cold. Take care oh, of He's gonna be real. All right, where's the spring? Where's the thing from there? Oh, yeah, that's right over here, yeah. It's right over here. Right over there. All right. Now we have to shut it off. All right. We're good, we're good. You're good, you're good. Now you got water all over you. As long as you got it on video. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of hiccups that you face, especially when you run multiple businesses out of a single building. You know, there's a lot of chaos, but some things that we did do this week that were kind of interesting, kind of fun. We had an inspection with the fire marshal. I brought my son, which was really fun, and my wife, my daughter too, but my son really likes Marshall from Paw Patrol. And so I told him we're gonna go meet the marshal. And so in his head, he thought it was gonna look like this. And well, Chuck looks like this, great guy. Anyhow, really fun situation. We've got to turn on the fire alarms, got to do all the, the crazy stuff and walk through and see, you know, can we use these event spaces? And what do we need to do since we're not gonna use the inside of the hotel? What do we need to do so I can rent this to people that want just a giant room that would hold like 50 people? Looks like a bar. Obviously I'm not gonna have any alcohol lined up or anything. Maybe I'll put some like glass bottles with water in them or something for like, you know, aesthetics or something. But we have spaces that are be kind of destination spaces in Lincoln. And <laughs> there's key. And so then this piece over here, okay? So one of the things that Lincoln is missing, and I'm sure there's somebody that's working on this, but affordable event space. We have this massive area here, uh, we call the ballroom. I'm not sure what I'm gonna actually name it, the Lincoln Ballroom, I don't know. So it holds up to 400 people, but what do we need to do to make sure that people in here have proper egress for fire safety and to make sure they don't go into the dome. So it sounds like our plan is gonna be to put up a fence, maybe put like a little door in it, and let people use that side of things. Chuck gave us a list of what all needs to happen to make sure that things are good to go. Again, all this stuff is cosmetic to like make it look pretty. So the next question is, well, it's time to update it, right? I mean, I tried out this blue floor. It, well, it, it's not as cool as I thought it was at 25. Um, so we'll probably put carpet back in to help with the echo. And in that back room back there, that floor has seen better days and Got a minor leak back there, I got a fix. So lots of little things, but coming soon to Lincoln, Nebraska, we'll have a couple more event spaces and hopefully that'll help change the demographic of the hotel from people that are staying because we have good rates to people that are staying because we have something cool going on. It's a big, it's a big puzzle. There's lots of chaos going on as we try to open up. So, but this is something we're working on. It's coming soon. We have diagrams and all that, that cool stuff. We just have to get all the ducks in a row.